What is up? How is everyone? Hope you had a great day. What are we gonna do tonight? Well, we're gonna do a little Maximit. Got a PM2 in Maximit. Um, if it looks like it fell into a pond and someone found it that way, I rest assured that's not the case. A little force patina action. We're gonna clean this up and take it down to 15 thou. So, Maximit is, yeah, um, there's a great article on knifestillnerds.com, talks about tungsten, or rather, tungsten and high cobalt steels, or the steels that can get really, really hard, like 70 HRC, I recommend you check it out. Um, one of the reasons why this gets so hard is because of cobalt. And cobalt has many factors or adds many factors to steel as well as tungsten. However, tungsten, um, when it's heated up to actually very low temperatures, even in a little bit higher than forging temperatures, it um, dissolves. Dissolution inside the steel goes away. Um, it does, however, come back a little bit when you get into tempering or tempering temperatures, but tempering temperatures within close to a thousand degrees. So, you austenize the steel, your carbide formers dissolve at different temperatures. Um, if they don't, then they're growing in size, which is a, a different discussion. And then later on, you know, after we quench, we turn that austenite into martensite, and then we try to take all of that retained austenite and turn it into that harder martensite, we get those tungsten, uh, atoms back. Um, very, very little. And there has to be a shit ton of tungsten to kind of do that. Well, not a shit ton, but like enough. And then, you know, take your chromium down so you're not, you know, diluting other things. But cobalt is a big one that helps with this um, high, hot hardness. Basically, if this steel gets a certain temperature, it will maintain its hardness or stay hard. But yeah. Um, we can get up to 70 HRC, a little higher on some of the the um, handmade stuff. And yeah, let's see what this can do. Uh, Pre-regrind and then post-regrind to 15 thou. And we'll get into a little bit of Maximit. Um, I don't have much to talk about as far as Maximit, but it's gonna be cool to see what we get with this. This is the most super steel I've tested so far. So we'll see what happens. Cool, let's get into the test.
So, did the regrind. Here she is, looking all purdy. Did the test. So, what did we get? Well, <clears throat> the first round before the regrind, we had a behind the edge thickness of 0 0.023 thou behind the edge. And it's a little higher because it looks like, looks like it's been sharpened a lot more. We got a total of 18 passes um, of 10 times 2, our multiplier, 360 cuts. That's pretty much the most starting out, obviously. And we'll come to that in a little bit. The regrind, plus or minus 15 thou. And I say that because my calipers are on the fritz because they're a little cheaper side. I know. I was on a budget. You don't have to tell me. I'm getting a new set of calipers this week. But it's plus or minus 15 thou behind the edge, which is a, a respectable behind the edge for this type of steel. We got 30 passes of 10 times 2 is 600 cuts. It's the most we've ever got from any knife that I've tested or reground so far. I've tested Maximum before on cardboard, not that cardboard, but I, I got a lot. That is a difference of 50%. Obviously, if you crunch the numbers, 360 is 50 of 600. That's a 66% increase. Now, the numbers may seem huge, and the increase may seem huge, but it's it's not compared to what, what the breakdown of the steel is. It is a high wear resistant steel and high obtainable hardness steel. So I'm not surprised, you guys shouldn't be super surprised what the overall cuts were. The increase of performance is what we wanna see, it's 66%. I've had knives in the past, and actually it's cobalt steels perform a lot better. Um, with that, like the composition of, of Maximit, we have 2.5% carbon, 4.75% chromium, 13% tungsten, no molly. This is not a molly based steel. 6% um, vanadium and 10% cobalt. So we're at a cobalt tungsten type steel and that carbon and that cobalt addition, like both of those additions balanced out, bring up the hardness up here. Because we have low chromium, we don't have that dissolving into our, our uh, in solution. So it's not bonding with anything and it's at such a low amount that it's not forming carbides. However, we have, you know, vanadium, which grows, but doesn't dissolve until a very, very high temperature, like over 200 or 2,400 degrees, like over that. But we're austenitizing at like 1975 to 2,000 degrees. I mean, so we're getting all of that MC carbide, the hard carbide, the hardest carbide to then fill in for the carbides. And then we get an M6C carbide, which is our molly tungsten carbide. Yes, there's no molly in here, but still we get a molly tungsten carbide. Um, I'm sure there's a very, very low amount, but I mean, we can get into that type of carbide later or I can ask somebody. But we're basically, we're, we're getting 3.6% of that M6C carbide and 13.2% of that VC or MC carbide. So we have a shitload of hard carbides to then support that edge retention. And the fact that as all that balanced cobalt and carbon, it can fucking crank high up on the RC scale. And that's where we're getting our wear resistance from. Again, not amount of carbides, because like Rex 121 has like, what, 33% carbide volume. 20CV had a similar amount of carbide volume. 
we just tested that in the other video. But still, that that had the same amount of carbides, roughly, and it crushed it. So it's the type of carbide, really, that we're worried about. And the increase in performance, I mean, we get with that geometry, the behind the edge thickness. I, I'm going to keep saying it until I'm blue in the face, but I believe that behind the edge thickness does have an effect on performance. It does. It has to. So, I mean, that's where we're at with Maximit. Like, <laughs> anyone have any fucking knives made out of uh, Rec 72? Any HAP 70? Let me know. Um, if you have any Rex 121, I know Creeley Blades makes not a production ish. It's obviously it's a handmade. Um, yeah, I'd like to fucking test that out against I don't know against Maximus. See what happens. But anyway, that's where we're at. We got our balanced cobalt steel Maximus. Um, and that's what we got. I mean, we got a 66% increase in performance. Like, that's huge. Are the cut numbers huge? Yeah, they are. But it's it makes sense for what that steel is made up of and probably how hard it's being ran and the makeup and the carbides and the grain structure and everything kind of blends together. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I know my belt grinder really enjoyed fucking grinding that maximum down. That fucking sucked, kind of. Um, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. And, uh, you know, subscribe and all that shit. And don't really know what we're going to get into on Steel Talk Sunday. But mm, I'll make up something. Well, I won't make up something. I'll obviously I'll talk about something. But, you know. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.